kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us solve a 12 mark or a 14 mark problem in which you are asked to prepare the journal entries as well as to prepare a revised balance sheet the question is on the screen please take the screenshot of the question or at least pause the video and write down the question whenever i am explaining you can keep the question along with it so they have given a balance sheet of a company in which assets and liabilities are there along with that they have given us the additional information the following scheme of reconstruction was adopted preference shares to be reduced to rupees 75 per share and the equity share to 337.50 per share so preference share actually value is 100 rupees that has to be reduced to 75 rupees an equity share value is also 100 rupees that has to be reduced to 37.50 rupees debenture holders to take over stock and bad and book debts in full satisfaction of the amount due to them so the debenture holders are allowed to take stock and book debts means the debtors next goodwill is to be eliminated so whatever the goodwill value is that we are going to eliminate then freehold premises to be depreciated by 50% so 50% of that will be depreciated next plant should be appreciated by 50% 50000 so actually the plant value is 3 lakh so for that we have to do appreciation of 50000 next journalize the following transactions and prepare the revised balance sheet now first they have converting the preference shareholders so first the journal entry we have to convert the old preference share capital account how much is the total preference shares there are 2000 preference shares of rupees 100 each which is nothing but 2 lakh to new preference share capital account new preference share capital account now this 100 rupees we are converting it into 75 rupees so same 2000 shares 2000 into 75 so 2000 into 75 will be 1 lakh 50 thousand the remaining balance whatever is there that we need to transfer to capital reduction account so 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 50 1000 lakh minus 1 lakh 50000 be 50000 so the narration will be being preference share converted next is we have to convert equity shares so old equity share account so how much was the total equity shares 4000 equity shares and each equity share value was 100 rupees which is nothing but 4 lakh to new equity share account So this hundred rupees we are converting it into thirty seven point five zero rupees. So same four thousand shares. So four thousand into thirty seven point five zero. When you do it, it will be one lakh fifty thousand. The remaining balances we are transferring it to capital reduction account. To capital reduction account from four lakh subtract one lakh fifty. Thousand. The remaining balance will be two lakh fifty thousand. The narration will be being equity shares value converted. Next, what they are telling that debenture holders to take over the stock and bad debts. in full satisfaction of of the amount due to them so debentures so here we have 5% mortgage debentures so 
so the total value of debentures are 1 lakh so this 1 lakh debentures they are taking over what and all they are taking over first one they are taking over that is stock what is the stock value the stock value is 50,000 next they are taking over even book debts book debts means debtors what is the value of debtors the value of debtors is 40,000 the remaining balance will be transferred to capital reduction account So 1 lakh minus 50,000 minus 40,000 will be 10,000. So the narration will be being debentures settled. Being debentures settled. Next. They have told that the plant. So the value of plant to be appreciated by. 50,000. So the value of plant need to be appreciated. So here we need to take that plant account debit. How much is this getting appreciated? 50,000 value to capital reduction account. To capital reduction account 50,000. The narration will be being plant value appreciated being plant value appreciated appreciated next we have to adjust all the losses so here i will write capital reduction account capital reduction account data now if you see the first entry we have transferred 50,000 to capital reduction account in second entry we have transferred 250,000 in third entry we have transferred 10,000 and fourth entry we have transferred 50,000 so we need to add all those things first one is 50,000 second one is 250,000 and third one is 10,000 and at last we need to add 50,000 now add all this 50,000 plus 2 lakh 50,000 plus 10,000 plus 50,000 it will be 3 lakh 60,000 using this we have to first clear off the profit and loss account profit and loss account so what is a profit and loss account value in the question the profit and loss account is 2 lakh 45,000 then we are having freehold premises that also let us write off freehold premises freehold premises what is the value of freehold premises it is 1 lakh sorry in question freehold premises is totally the freehold premises value is actually 2 lakh but they have told in adjustment that freehold premises to be depreciated by 50 percent so freehold premises need to be depreciated by 50 percent so only 50 percent we will take here so it will be 1 lakh Next, what they have told, uh, intangible assets, that is goodwill. Goodwill should be eliminated, they have told. So, to goodwill account, what is the total value of goodwill? 15,000. So, this three amount will get tallied to this amount. So, there is no capital reserve here. The narration will be being losses written off. Now, we need to prepare the balance sheet. Now, First, which component we need to take? First, we need to take equity component and liability component. Equity and liability component. In equity and liability component, first will that is share capital will come. Under that share capital, the first one we need to take that is preference share. Preference shares. Now, totally after conversion, how many shares we have? We have totally 2000 shares of rupees 75 each which is 1,50,000. Next, we are having equity shares. After converting, we have 4,000 equity shares of rupees 37.50, which is equal to 1,50,000. Next, we don't have any capital reserves. So, next, directly, we'd have only current liabilities. 
current liabilities are there so the current liabilities are first one we are having that is bank overdraft so bank overdraft it is 50 thousand next we are having creditors so creditors value whatever they are given is 1 lakh rupees now add 1 lakh 50 thousand plus 1 lakh 50 thousand plus 50 thousand plus 1 lakh it will be 4 lakh 50 thousand this is a total of the liability side next in second component we are having that is assets component the first one we will take that is non current assets so in non current assets we are having first one that is fixed assets under fixed assets we will be having freehold premises so freehold premises they have depreciated actually the value was 2 lakh that has been reduced by 1 lakh so the remaining 1 lakh only will be the value of free old premises next we are having that is plant actually the plant value which is given in the balance sheet is 3 lakh but it has been appreciated by 50,000 so the value will be 3 lakh 50,000 next we are having current assets so but current assets there is no items given in the balance sheet now add 3 lakh 50 thousand plus 1 lakh it will be 4 lakh 50 thousand this is a total side of liabilities this is how we need to solve the problem hope you have understood this problem very well thank you for watching the video if you have understood please put that you have understood in the comment box at the same time if you have not understood any of the part please Ask your doubts and queries, put your queries and doubts in the comment box. We will try to respond to your queries as soon as possible. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.